Hi and welcome to Max Fish Room. Seeing that I uh, am starting to turn my fish keeping hobby into more of a fish room slash breeding room, I thought it might be time for me to start doing a few uh, videos for YouTube and interact with some fellow aquarists around the world about um, my hobby of fish keeping. And I've been roughly fish keeping since 2004. I spent quite a lot of my time on mostly setting up display tanks for myself with some slight instances of breeding, but not really specialising in the breeding side of fish keeping as such, more the display side. And my time has been spent as thus in collecting gear, setting up tanks to suit that sort of application as I'm sure you can see here on this side I've got a 100 gallon tank up there 83 gallon custom made 15 gallon biotype there and as you can see with this uh, custom made stand in actual fact that 100 gallon belongs on top the 83 gallon there is actually supposed to go in there but um, decided I won't do it this time and I'll rearrange my uh, plans the reasons why I'm now doing a fish room over just a standard setup in a shed is I have all this space here to fill in between there which has got enough room for approximately two stands if I uh, set it up right or one stand two sided either way still two stands so that's uh, my average plan well today I picked up for $150 from my uh, LPS, a uh, one of their old stands here. They've actually cut off the third layer of tanks, supports the hat up the top because it, uh, as you can see, won't fit into my shed. But still, that's given me enough room for six tanks. And considering I got the uh, tank, which I haven't got actually inside, is approximately 60, 70 gallons, split into three. So that's actually going to go down here. But here I'm going to get another one of these 20s, 20 gallons to put on the corner at the very end there and up the top I'll get some custom mates probably to go the whole length or maybe individuals, unsure yet but that's a rough plan but there I picked that up for 150 so I'm you know, just making do with what I got, I could take the tanks out give them a decent clean and reseal over the next couple of weeks but that's no real big issue all the tanks came with AquaClear 50 hobs, which is not too bad for the price I thought, I'm not going to complain at all considering most of them are near new. As for the uh, the plans for the new stand, well, it's got a lot to do with just however it sort of rolls, I'm quite cruisy at this stage. So basically I've got a um, tank cycling here, 50 gallon, it's um, getting ready for my just on four week old Pistogramus Mastasiri um, fry which I have got located in this tank. I picked up the pair from Redwood Aquatics Christchurch about six weeks ago for um, $80 and they they settled in there quite well and ended up spawning and the spawn, spawn was successful and they managed to get them through the first week quite well so, uh, so I'm quite impressed actually. They, they did very well for their um, for the age of them. They're quite young, uh, young pair. The um, the female though has managed to get quite rowdy towards the male, so I've had to knock him out of the tank for a while and pop him into my 83 gal, which is uh, I wouldn't say too hard to get him back out. He's um, she's not pretty afraid of anyone putting their hands in the tank, but yeah, still another job to do. So yeah, my my real plan with uh, my fish room is just to have some basic breeding setups and delve more into specialty breeding. So I particularly want to try and get into the killifish. I'm a huge Tanganyika fan, and as I'm sure some of you can see, this is a fully rock scaped and hard scaped version for a uh, Tanganyika setup. It's actually cloudy because I've finished the aquascaping yesterday at about 8 a.m. 8 p.m. at night sorry and um, yeah it's still settling down from the aquascape I know some people would say oh well you haven't rinsed the uh, 
the substrate out enough well welcome to glacial rivers that we've got in New Zealand not always able to get everything perfect there's a fair amount of fine silt still left in there which takes its time to disperse as for the tank and you can set up I've currently um, looking forward to sourcing it's not always easy to find tank and yuccas in New Zealand so um, any options I can get once the tank cycle is starting to mature for me to get into keeping and breeding again will be great because so it's a shame there's only really Malawis for sale around here and when you get a chance to do some tangs I'm I want to try and fill in that little gap a bit if I can but uh, yeah well each their own I guess most people like the colours of the Malawis but I find the tangs just as colourful and also very nice in the individuality they have but yeah as for the the channel itself on um, this YouTube channel I'm kind of new to the whole approach of how people are doing the uh, their fish room sort of blogs and getting their groups and followings but well, I kind of see the point in the idea nowadays because my idea would be to do um, spread some information of what I've learnt over the years with fish keeping and already currently doing that on the uh, aquatic community on the forums there I'm an active member in uh, discussions on that forum so if you're ever wandering around online hit, hit me up on the forum as you probably guessed uh, Max Fish Room so username Mac on the forums as well but uh, yeah it's sort of more of a social hobby for me I guess because um, in New Zealand a lot of people are pretty shy about the hobby but in America they're more vocal so I thought I'd join the Americans and become a little bit more vocal as you can see here I know some people will probably criticise going one single discus on his own well He's a little bit temperamental when he was at the pet shop, so I thought, oh well, we'll give him a try. He's never bothered anything in there so far. He's been in there three months since the tank has been stabilised and has matured. KHGH is perfect for him in the 3% mark. pH sitting at roughly, off memory from the last testing, 6.3. As for the Nitrite and ammonia, zero nitrate is sitting at 0.5 and the phosphates is at 0.5 which is a pretty decent tank for me considering where I am the uh, alkalinity out of the tap is pretty high and I haven't got an RO, RO unit set up so between uh, putting peat in the filter and the uh, driftwood set up I've managed to keep the water in perfect condition for him and he is yet to have any feeding issues, sulk, hide or be bothered. It's all placid, doesn't bother anyone. It's just been a general gentleman. Plus, it's absolutely gorgeous turquoise uh, discus. I was actually originally going to get into the breeding of them, but uh, as soon as I started thinking about the tangs again, I was like, yeah, nah, I'm going back to my tangs. Don't know if you can actually see, but on my log there's my... Uh, my baby uh, bristle nose who's slowly changing from being a baby to quite big now. And he's only roughly five months old. And when I picked him up in the LPS, they were under just on a centimetre when I uh, when I got him. There's actually the male Pistogramus right there. Hiding. Oblivion Ram. He's quite a quite a character. That's for sure, that young fella. The rest of the stocking for the tanks actually um, Rummy Nose, Hidden Tail Light Tetris, Rock of Splendor, and Bronze Quarries. And I've got, of course, two Bristle Nose, which you can see in there. And also a single male Battis Battis. I purchased them because um, there's a mistake when I went to the LPS. He, um, I asked him if he ever got them in on the list. and he said yes, but he also ordered them in, and he only ordered two, so I, uh, I was originally set this tank up here, the Wii 15 Gal, for uh, Battis Battis, but the tank wasn't cycled, and I won't put fish into uncycled tanks, so I, uh, I just put them in there, and I didn't want to leave them at the LPS, because I didn't really want to have a nice wee fish like that be taken home by 
someone who didn't quite know how to handle them or understand how to deal with them and have them end up being a larger fish's snack or not have the water quality to maintain their requirements or the feeding abilities. So far though, he's never had anything issues with the bigger stuff in there. He's able to get the food. I do have to spend a little bit of time with the um, the syringe getting the food down to him, but most of the time he actually hangs out and that log right there, the wee pile of uh, java moss and the rocks and that thicket of growth, he's, that's his territory and actually from time to time he and the uh, he'll give the discus a bit of a, a fright when he darts out of the logs to grab something which is the point, he'll chase the discus away if he's interrupting his dinner yeah, well, we bat is sort of one of my favourites, I just can't find females in uh, New Zealand which just really sucks because I'd love to breed them but yeah, the the hobby itself for me has always been a recreational pastime, something I, uh, I've always found very relaxing, enjoyable, fulfilling, and also quite thrilling really, because uh, it's not every day you get to spend your time micromanaging a, a full ecosystem, making it work perfectly, maintaining it, and um, enjoying the the serenity that the fish give and the serenity they give when you can keep everything in the perfect parameters for them they just give such colors vibrant lifestyles and individuality you just it's just stunning to watch it's um it's certainly a gripping gripping the uh, hobby and it's just some of the fry are starting to come to the front of the tank now yeah i wonder if we actually get this there we go, there's some there. Yep, there they are. It's a nice wee bunch that's come out. Actually, there she is in the background, very faintly. This tank actually looks a mess. I've drained it down yesterday to uh, shift it into the position it's in right now. See, it was blocking all my uh, access to my, my tool location. Well, as you can see, it's a bit cramped in here, all the tool location everything will be shifting because uh, getting a 40 foot shipping container to start jamming everything else in here so I can have more space in the old shed to expand the uh, horizons. But uh, I guess that'll be enough for part one of the instalment. Feel free to ask questions and subscribe and I'll keep your guys updated weekly at this stage. Mac out.